Now I went to the coastline this weekend to get some first summer sunshine under my skin and then when I got home I was like you know I'm like I'm like burned like a lobster Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be the ultimate denoising challenge between Luminar Neo's artificial intelligence denoiser and Lightroom's brand new artificial intelligence denoiser. So let's see which one is better. And yes, this video is sponsored by Skyloom and Luminar Neo. So if you want to try Luminar Neo out, use the link down in the description and get 10% off your purchase. And yes, I do get a kick if you click on that link. It almost rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's dive into it. So here I have both softwares open. On one hand I have the Luminar Neo and these five photographs and then I have Lightroom with again these same five photographs. Now this photograph was shot with 51,200 ISO and if I zoom in you can see that it's well it's quite noisy and the next one again 51,200 ISO. Too much to be actually used in my opinion. I mean I've never shot with this high ISO and this one Lego Technics again 51,000 and then I have two photographs of this another Lego Technics car. The first one was shot with 204,800 ISO, which is something that I would never thought that I would actually say. I didn't even know my Sony could go that far. But yeah, this one is like seriously night vision goggles view. And then the next one is again 51,200, which is a teeny tiny bit better. So let's go first into Luminar Neo and do the denoising here. Then I'm going to go into Lightroom or actually, you know what? I'm going to jump back and forth and we can compare the time it takes for the denoiser to work. So let's start here with the Luminar Neo first the landscape photo. I'm gonna go straight into the photograph into the edit noiseless raw and the software is telling me that I should go with the high preset. So let's press the high button and wait and see how long this takes. Yeah you know it took about a few seconds and well if I look at this I mean the denoising is well it's not the best one. I mean it definitely got rid of the noise but it looks kind of painting like. So let's go with the low setting. Okay a little bit better. So without the denoiser, with the denoiser I think the low is actually better. Let's try the middle one. You know what I think? I think the low setting is actually better. The middle one, the middle one. Let me know down in the comments which one you find most pleasing. I'm gonna go with the middle one. So now let's go into Lightroom and do the same thing over here. So, and you can find the new denoising tool under details and you have here this thing over here. This is brand new. And if I hit the noise, it's going to load up the enhanced data, whatever that is, and it's gonna open up a preview. And then you can see how much the denoiser is actually working. And wow, okay, this looks amazing. I can set the amount. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at 50 because I think 50 is the default one and it's going to look the best. So let's hit enhance and see how long this takes. And yes, the image is flickering uh, also on my computer, not just in your in your view. So, also nice that I have a bar showing me how long it's going to take. It's definitely taking longer than Luminar Neo. Okay, let's zoom into this one and see how much this improved the noise. I'm gonna go with 100% and if I go back to Luminar here, I'm also going to go to 100% and let's just compare these two if I can put them side by side like this. I actually think I prefer Lightroom's denoiser much more than this guy over here. Yeah, Lightroom, I think Lightroom wins this one, especially on this image. So uh, I'm gonna try the other images and you know, let's see the results. Oh, nice. Okay, this one's done. So Luminar is done, middle, low, high. Now high really makes all of these weird artifacts happening. So I think I'm gonna go with the middle one again. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the middle one because I think that one looks the best. And I'm going to go into Lightroom and see what this did. Oh, wow. Okay, this is amazing. This is definitely, definitely amazing. So let me like do side by side again. I think the one over here from Lightroom is actually better. My god, one more photo to go and then I go to the deciding of which one is actually better. And this time I'm going to go with this guy. 204,800 ISO. <laughs> Again, a word I thought I would never um, speak out in my mind. Oh, okay. Luminar finished. Lightroom is also finished, I think. Yes. Okay, let's first check out the Luminar one. High, low. Ah, now this this actually doesn't look nice to be perfectly honest. And let's go into Lightroom and see how this worked. Wow. I mean, my god. This is uh this is amazing. Clearly <laughs> 
this is like unbelievable i mean the noising with lightroom is just fantastic wow i mean look at luminars all of these weird artifacts that are happening here now just messing up everything and lightroom is just you know it's noisy it's still noisy and grainy but it's it looks like it's been shot with way less iso than what it actually was so uh yeah i think i think in terms of how good this is so let me compare the before and after so if i compare these two photographs like before and after so this one is the raw file and this one is the enhanced or noise reduction DNG. Now the cool thing about Lightroom is that when you do the denoising, Lightroom actually creates this new DNG file so you know it's been denoised. Now there is one thing that I do in Luminar whenever I'm restoring an image, so denoising and super sharpening, is that I always export that photo into a TIFF file once it's denoised and sharpened and then I use that TIFF file for the further edits, otherwise it's too taxing on the computer and and it's always going to try and update the denoiser and it just takes up a lot of time takes up a lot of you know processing power here in Lightroom this is done automatically because the software actually creates a DNG file it also tells you that it's going to do this when you're here so you know reduce noise with AI and the result will be saved as a new DNG you can see right over here I mean amazing and this one is already denoised so Lightroom already knows that you've denoised this now ironically I said that this video was sponsored by <laughs> Luminar Neo but this one is just killing it I mean, Luminar is a wonderful editing software. If you want to create photographs like this, you have a lot of very simplified tools to get you to the result. And I think it's tailored towards my type of photography, which, well, looks like this. Now I can do the same thing in Lightroom and Photoshop, and I actually need both of these to get a similar result. And in Luminar Neo, I can get the result by just shifting a few sliders back and forth. And this is why I encourage you to try Luminar Neo out. You also have a free trial, so you can see how well it performs, the auto masking and the just the easy way of editing photographs that is Luminar Neo. I prefer it over Lightroom and Photoshop, but when it comes to the denoising, I think I think we have a new king. I mean, I think I think Lightroom clearly wins here. Seriously, wow. Now for the final step, I'm going to choose this photo with 51,200 ISO, which I think is still something that you might want to edit and you know work with. So I'm going to denoise this both in Luminar and Lightroom, and then edit the photograph to get the most detail out, and then we'll compare compare the results. So let's do this right now. Okay, let's compare this Luminar's photo, which is, well, uh, I mean, this one actually looks denoised like crazy. I can do one more thing to maybe enhance it. I'm going to use the super sharp. Now, this is where I would then export the photograph into a TIFF file before I would start giving any creative edits because this is going to murder my computer. So the results are in. It took a little bit of time to super sharp the image, but this is now the result from Luminar. I mean, it's denoised, it's super sharp, and it's, well, it's edited in a way that I have the most detail out of the photograph. And considering that this was shot with 51,200 ISO, it's, well, it's a nicely restored image, I have to say. It's not the best looking image, but it's, it's nicely restored. Now, this one is from Lightroom, and oh my god, I mean, this actually looks like a completely different image. I mean, it's hard to imagine that both of these were, you know, the same source file, 51,200 ISO, but I mean, the edit is not exactly the same, but it's like night and day in terms of how really clear this image is and how kind of poorly restored image the Luminar Neo did. I think we have the new winner in terms of denoising and it's definitely Lightroom's new artificial intelligence denoiser. So let me know down in the comments what you think or using Lightroom or Luminar or you're using these artificial intelligence enhancements. I'm really curious to know so let me know down below. Also consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button for the algorithm and yeah I mean my god this is going to help me a lot with macro photography <laughs> i'll see you in the next one bye bye